There were two kind of fundamental challenges with this project. The first was we knew we were going to have all CG shots of close-ups of hero dog facial performances. We also had a sequence of shots where the dogs were slipping on these massive tilting icebergs. From the storyboards, we knew there was no way that they were going to shoot those shots on set. And we had to figure out how it changes the dynamic of how a dog is running straight ahead on a flat surface into now slipping laterally on a tilting surface. And that was a really long process for us to identify all of those mechanics for 11 dogs in the team. Because we knew that this asset had to be as perfect as possible, from one shot to the other, we had to blend into the live action shots. So unlike acting talent where we can sort of ask the actor, we could sit there and pull certain poses, we can't really do that with dogs. So we rely on these things called fax poses, it's called facial action coding system. And that allows us to break down the facial movements into different poses. The fax setup was developed by taking in consideration all the muscle groups in the face and taking a look which muscle trigger each shape. And sometimes it's a combination of multiple muscles triggering. All the different departments really did their homework and really worked for a long time on creating this very, very realistic asset by referencing everything that they could. For a new quadruped front leg, I tried to break it down into like simple steps, basically. From there, you would go deeper and deeper into well, what does the wrist do and where does the elbow end up and things like that. So you wouldn't tackle the whole front leg of a quadruped at once. For example, by putting them into a library of behaviors that then eventually were put together by the animator while they were making a performance for each dog. If we didn't have a process that was as efficient and practical as this one, we wouldn't have been able to get out our work in time. The build of the dog wasn't approved until animation had a play with it and until CFX did CFX on top of our animation. Each department is contributing only certain amounts of work before we agree to move it forward. Because we knew that this asset had to be as photorealistic as possible and move as realistically as possible, it was essential that the asset itself was developed in a feedback loop between those three departments. Much like a puppeteer would take a puppet from a puppet maker, they make an animation performance and once they've got a performance they're happy with, we'll apply much finer detail to skin simulation or fat simulation, fur simulation. Everybody was really motivated each department tried to meet the expectations of the other department. Everybody wanted to make the show shine, and I think it really shows. Hey, stay with me as I have a cool movie extra fact. Now, the Disney film Who Framed Roger Rabbit was responsible for revitalizing the Disney company's reputation for the way it combined live action and animation. The process took a long time, however. While physical filming took just over seven months, the post-production step of adding in the animation took 14 months. Now, wow. Click here below to subscribe or on the site for more great content.